Hi, everyone. This is Michelle Gramolia, the president and CEO here at Woodland Pond, and this is my weekly address on a Wednesday. Usually I do these on a Tuesday, but I was not here yesterday. I took a personal day, I guess you could say, um, because we had a bunch of projects that we had started over Memorial Day weekend, um, but with a lot of baseball conflicts and the other things that we were doing, we didn't quite wrap them up, so I figured I'd stay home and try to wrap up some of those projects around the house. Of course, we didn't finish everything. So anyway, lots of garden time and other things. Um, but here I am. So here's the weekly update for a Wednesday. I hope you are all well. And I hope that you are all enjoying lots of outside time. I think the first update that I will start with is a weather update, actually a couple of them. Um, it's going to be hot, I think tomorrow, actually, or sometime at uh, some point this week. We are expecting temperatures to get into the high 80s, possibly even 90s. And what that means is, um, especially for our housekeeping and maintenance staff, we do need you to please keep an eye on your air conditioning units. If the um, housekeepers come into your apartment or cottage, and the temperature is reading above 75, they will not do the cleaning. Um, so you do need to make sure that it is below 75 degrees on the reading um, before they arrive. So that is just important for you to know. They cannot do the cleaning if it's above that. So that's um, a note for you. So please make sure that it's turned down um, in ample enough time that they can do that before um, they arrive. Um, the other thing is, is that many of you know that uh, last summer, the south wing central air conditioning unit in the hallways um, started to encounter some difficulties. Um, we had hired an engineer over the winter to assess the central air conditioning units in the hallways for the central, south, and north wings and to provide us the estimates to replace those units both the air conditioning and the heating units. And we were able to have those units um, engineered for replacement. Um, we were able to take those um, units out to bid um, and to have the replacement units re-engineered and uh, quoted on. That's a project that's going to cost us roughly a half a million dollars. And all the, uh, the initial installment payments have been made on those units. Uh, the south wing air conditioning for the central air in the hallways is not working at this time. So when, if, if it does become hot or now, um, the central air in the hallways in the south will not work. Your apartments will work just fine and you will have ambient air conditioning coming from uh, the main building and the other corridors. So it won't be a problem. This was happening uh, you know, intermittently last summer as well. The work actually has begun to remove the existing unit and the crane is expected to probably be here in a couple of weeks to remove the actual physical units that are there and replace them. This is a, a, a roughly six to eight week project. Um, and once South is done, Central and North will also be replaced. Those are currently in working order, but in order to um, have that project cost the roughly $500,000 that it will, rather than seven or $800,000 that it would cost to do them um, individually. Um, we decided to do them all at once. These are huge rooftop units that need to come out and be replaced, um, sort of the age of the building as we're sort of approaching, you know, 15 to 18 years of, since those rooftop units have been in there, um, you know, uh, actually been procured in, in place. So at any rate, it will potentially be warm in that south uh, wing. It's just in the corridors. We are aware of it. Um, the engineering, as I said, has been completed and we're working on replacement there. So just bear with us there. If you do have any heating issues or cooling issues, you do need to contact us right away. Tom has explained on a number of occasions it's very common at this time that your uh, coils in your air conditioning units um, will freeze up at this point in time, the first uses. So the minute that you have any issues with your heating or cooling elements at this time, you need to call concierge and put a work order in. Please do not wait. Uh, we need to get to see those as soon as you have an issue. So do call us right away if you have any issues there. 
Um, all right, the next issue, I would like to address uh, some significant challenges that we had last night in the dining room. Um, without our knowledge, the point of sale vendor visual touch that we are working with, and we aren't quite one month having gone live with them yet, did a system-wide software upgrade yesterday and caught us completely off guard. Um, we have spent the last roughly 20 hours, first of all, expressing our extreme dissatisfaction with them about not notifying us that they were doing the software upgrade. Um, it didn't go well. They didn't handle it properly. It did not do what it intended to do, um, but it also completely hamstrung our dinner service operation last night, particularly related to specific entrees. So whatever they were intending to have the upgrade do, um, it left the system working very intermittently and it left many of you with, especially spaghetti and meatballs, I think, and cavatappi not coming out on time. So I want to apologize for that. It took, I think, the first full dinner service for chef to realize, gosh, I, I'm shocked that nobody's ordering spaghetti and meatballs. Um, when the wait staff were putting the orders in, just fine. Um, they were not making it to the kitchen. So um, there were a series of reboots that were happening with the um, uh, tablet technology at the um, instruction of the visual touch folks. And that was not successful. We were doing the reboots that they were instructing us to do. And then, you know, on the screens, there were buttons that were missing. Um, you know, a couple of observations that I have related to this. Technology is great when technology is working. What we are finding with this situation is as we, as a society and at Woodland Pines, continue to migrate to a very technology-based lifestyle when technology does not work the way that we want it to, it's very evident. Um, as I said, we have made it very clear to Visual Touch that we are extremely unhappy with this situation that happened last night. We believe at this time that the issues that were encountered last night have been resolved. Um, we are doing troubleshooting as we speak. We will be using the lunch period here in the bistro um, and service in the pub this afternoon to make sure that the issues that were encountered last night seem to have been resolved. Um, at this point in time, I am in direct contact with the leadership at Visual Touch uh, to let them know that this is an absolutely unacceptable level of service. Um, they have offered some discounting on pricing and so forth. I'm not interested in that. And of course I will accept it, but that's not the concern. The concern is um, the impact of the dinner service, lunch service, et cetera, on the residents and on the, the stressful impact on the staff because it's it's not just the impact on the residents, it's the impact on the staff and, and how they feel that they're able to do their jobs, which they feel that they, they cannot do um, if they don't have the right tools. So um, that's my job is to communicate where Woodland Pond feels we can or cannot accept the technology and where it's at. And I need to express to you that, you know, we don't accept that, um, but we have to obviously come up with plan B um, on our side, if this is to happen again, um, and we will be doing so. So there's a lot in the works. Um, I want to apologize for the experience that you had last night. I'm sure that our staff in the dining room did the same um, when you had that experience last night, um, and we are working to make sure that that does not repeat itself this evening. Um, that being said, today is May 31st which means it's the last day of the first billing cycle that we've had in the main dining room since visual touch system has gone into effect. So you will start to see in the next two days or so your first monthly service fee bill with your decline balance on it reflecting your charges from May. Um, we have asked you to keep your receipts. Some of you have, some of you have not. If you do have issues or concerns with your bill, we are going to ask you to please sign up with concierge and then either Tanya Reyes or Melissa Henneberger, um, both of which can go into Visual Touch and provide you a statement. Um, they will be getting in touch with you. So if you have questions about your declining balance 
bill after you get your monthly service fee um, statement in the next couple of days, we're gonna ask you to sign up with concierge not to come to the billing office for those issues um, because we wanna do this in a, um, a measured fashion. Uh, so do please sign up with concierge if you've got questions or issues just this time around. Uh, we want this to be done in a measured way. You go ahead and sign up with concierge. This way, Tanya and Melissa can go ahead and look at your bill in advance. Um, they can do this in a careful manner. Then that's why they're not wasting your time while you're sitting there and they can go ahead and take a look at that for you. So go ahead and that's just if you have a question on your bill once you get your bill from, from there. You can also check if you have the um, the account, which I know a lot of you have set up, you can go ahead and check that on your visual touch on your own um, through your account. So you can do that as well. Okay, so that's those two things. Let's see, is there anything else for my address today? I don't think we really had anything else for today. Um, tomorrow is the kickoffs to summer barbecue. I know a lot of you have bought tickets in advance. Um, you know, the, it's going to be a great barbecue. There's tons of food, the price point. I know a couple of you have said, gosh, that's a little bit of a high price point, $14 for an advanced ticket or $16 at the door, but the food is, um, a huge amount of food, lots of different options, sides, entrees, desserts. Um, but really, it's a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. And when we think about all of the good that the Alzheimer's Association does, um, when we had our kickoff breakfast, the corporate breakfast, maybe three weeks ago, it was really remarkable to me to understand that the Alzheimer's Association not only does, um, not only is the largest funding entity for research into Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's research eradication, and so forth, but for all of the diseases related to memory loss. And I think they really do themselves a disservice by referring themselves just as the Alzheimer's Association. Um, incidentally, I guess it's just a nickname and a moniker, but the full legal name does encompass all of the memory spectrum disorders. And we're gonna be doing a lot more education and um, outreach on this because the bottom line is, and, and you're gonna hear me say this a lot as we go through our efforts to get ready for the walk to end Alzheimer's, Woodland Pond should have entered into this partnership at this level a long time ago. Um, memory spectrum disorders are such a huge impact at Woodland Pond. There are so many people here that are facing the effects of this every single day and have for so long. Um, the impacts that we see at the Mental Health and Wellness Task Force and the caregiver um, burnout, the issues, the fear of living with these memory spectrum disorders. It's, I think, a misstep on my part. I'll take responsibility for that, for not having embraced this relationship a long time ago. So it's about the fundraising, yes, but it's more about the advocacy and the education. So we're gonna be doing a lot with the Alzheimer's Association. So that kick off to summer barbecue tomorrow. It's a great time to get a hamburger, a veggie burger, a hot dog, all the sides to have the camaraderie. So hopefully we'll see everybody out there tomorrow at 12 o'clock, um, staff, residents, guests. Um, we'll see you there. And I hope that everybody has a great day. Should be another beautiful one, it'll be a little hot. So make sure you dress appropriately. And uh, thanks for the update. We'll see you next week. Bye.